Let me suggest quickly seven ways that we can make pricing more of a competency right now. Um, the first is to get out of this idea that we should go in and sell and present and negotiate our costs. It's kind of a ridiculous idea, isn't it, when you hear it in those terms. We have three choices when we, when we decide that we are going to charge for our services. We can decide to charge for our inputs, which are, in fact, our costs. These are hours, activities, efforts. And this is, in fact, the current model at most firms. A, a, a little more progressive way to think about what we could sell is, well, we could instead sell the, the outputs, the the, um, what our inputs produce. This, I think, would be equivalent to Mike's uh, scope metric units. And in a way, it's, it's selling deliverables, an actual defined workload, irrespective of the inputs. But of course, the highest value that we can bring to a client organization is providing them with outcomes, results, marketplace effects. Because this is ultimately what a buyer buys, isn't it? The buyer buys the utility of what we do, not the actual product or service. So by adopting that, this is what professional pricers do in a negotiation, in a discussion with a buyer, is they, they come in starting at the top of this pyramid, not at the bottom. And of course, we make the opposite mistake. 